it's been fascinating because I did go to your website. I did read some of your pieces, trying to understand this. So I'm somebody that, you know, I started as a social worker, ran a psychiatric hospital, clinics in the community, then went um, and was in Albany um, doing policy work as a senior deputy commissioner at the New York State Office of Mental Health and spent 15 years in Washington, a lot of time on the Hill. And so I'm always thinking about scope and spread um, and how it fits with the current issues and challenges we're struggling with. So let me see if I can just very briefly explain that, right? So we have, and you mentioned Vivek Murthy, by the way, who is now our current Surgeon General. You know, he was um, nominated again. He had been Obama's, Biden nominated him again, and they confirmed him. And he is someone, you know, who is very focused on loneliness, connection. So I like the concept of awe. It made me think about, you know, times I've been awed, right? And the feelings you describe, you know, really resonate. But if it's going to be something that can help create tighter communities and connectedness, what is the dose and duration that we need for people to experience to really then begin to change and interact differently? And I, I don't understand that. Are you not ready for that? Because your research hasn't gone there yet. Um, you know, but we would need to understand that if this term is actually going to be seen as something like emotional regulation, in fact, something that people can use not only in their lives, but create a, a society, cultures, communities um, that are more connected and healthier. So, so that's my primary question to begin with. Yeah, I think that, you know, it's a, I do a lot of work in uh, kind of the well-being space uh, and it's, it's a, the dose question is central to all of the different traditions. Gratitude is really good for people. It's good for families. It's good for work contexts. How much, right? Um, mindfulness. Some of you may be practicing mindfulness. Uh, how much? Um, the, you'll hear from Virginia Sturm, who has found uh, one time a week where you go search for awe, uh, help 75 years old uh, pay participants and older uh, reduce levels of depression and anxiety. And that's a powerful effect. Um, we have been finding about one time a week for 15 minutes, an awe walk, listen to some awe music. Uh, it, it benefits the nervous system and inflammation and stress and anxiety. So I, you know, but I would also say um, I would try to make it a regular practice. Uh, and I think that will be the challenge of the different subcultures that think about this concept is how do we build awe into, I would do a lot of work with healthcare providers, medical doctors, physicians, assistants. They're dealing with so much trauma right now. How do they find awe in their work? And, and that will be the creativity we need. But once a week for 15 minutes, is pretty good. And, and I would encourage you before I turn this over, obviously to the chief to, we are paying lots of attention to schools right now yeah. with just many, many issues and problems, but curriculums in schools around resilience um, and the development of resilience, emotional regulation that I mentioned before, can you begin to have a pathway? And I don't know how involved you get in actually policy work to get that this concept embedded in some of those curriculums so yeah. that it take hold at an early age. What, what I love about awe and those eight wonders of life, right, is so, for example, in COVID, we had historically high levels of use of our trails. People were going out into nature to find awe, right? There are nature based curriculums that are oriented around awe that you can build into schools, there are music based curriculums you can build into schools visual design and art, right? Are uh, in how you teach, be it, you know, literature or evolution or whatever the case may be is in some sense oriented around big ideas, history. So I think this lends itself to very good work to be done in schools uh, from the first moment. So you enter on this in kindergarten to the last. So uh, we're working on it. We have a school initiative at the Greater Good Science Center with a lot of awe practices 
for kids and teachers to start doing. Thanks.